We are joined right now by the head basketball coach of Marquette. What an amazing job he's doing. What a great year they're having. His second season there, an overall record, 43-19. and He led the Golden Eagles to the NCAA tournament last year. Previously, the head coach at Texas. Previously, the head coach at Virginia Commonwealth. Of course, he led VCU to that Final Four run in 2011. This season, Marquette is 24-6. and They're 16-3 and in conference play. They're ranked number six nationally. They beat Butler Tuesday, and they clinched the program's first outright Big East regular season title. They play host to St. John Saturday. Of course, I'm talking about Shaka Smart. Shaka, it is so good to have you back. How are things with you? I'm great. It's good to be on with you, Jim. It seems like we just talked, but it's been a while. You know what? It's actually both those things. It's been a minute, and it does feel like we just talked. It's great to have you back. Listen, I want to rephrase that because I want to know, for instance, you've got a lot of work ahead of you still. You've got some amazing opportunities ahead of you still, Shaka, but how happy are you? How pleased are you with what this team has already accomplished this season? Well, I'm just really grateful for our guys, the way that they've come together around each other. Uh, It's really a fun group, group to coach, Jim. Uh, They really care for each other. They play for each other. Uh, They pull for each other. There's no real agendas other than just trying to support one another, have a ton of fun out there, and go after the opponent. Shaka, that sounds like something a coach would say or a coach speak. It's not. How important is that when you've got guys that love each other, that truly, truly have each other's back, want to be there for each other and pick each other up? How important is that? It's everything. I mean, you know, being part of a team can be one of the most euphoric experiences that an individual can have, or it can be hell if nobody on the team likes each other, nobody wants to be around each other, everyone's got side issues, jealousy, side agendas, and we're just really, really fortunate. We've got a group of guys that that truly care about each other and enjoy each other's company. I know it sounds simple. We were picked ninth in the league, Jim. And for us, you know, there was a common bond of, hey, we're better than that. And let's go show people we're better than that. Let's have a ton of fun doing it. Damn, you beat me to it. Shaka, I was going to say, not only were you picked ninth, you were picked ninth by the coaches. So if anybody would know or should know it's your peers, you did lose some key guys, to be sure, from last year. But you were picked to finish ninth and you're number six nationally right now. When you saw that poll, what was your reaction? And what did you say to your team about it? Well, I, I think a lot of coaches and players – have a way of taking motivation out of the preseason stuff, regardless of what it says. Even if you're picked first, you find a way to to let it motivate you. But, you know, for us, I think what we wanted to say was, hey, there's certain talents that we have that aren't necessarily displayed by the number of points or rebounds or even minutes that we have returning on our team. And a lot of the intangible talents that, as you know, you've been around sports a long time, go into winning, those are the things that we felt like we had in our locker room last spring when we were starting to put this year's team together. And our guys have done a terrific job continuing to grow in those ways. Shaka Smart joining us. Not only that, Shaka, but obviously you know anything about you, your career, the way your teams play. We know you're going to get after it defensively. This group is no different. You lead the Big East with nine and a half steals per game. I'm curious about that, though. Do you coach that? Do you recruit that? In other words, how much of that defensive dominance is an innate skill versus it being just a mindset? Well, I think it's some of both for sure. I mean, the best defensive players I've ever coached They had certain things inside of them that had nothing to do with what a coach asked them to do. Uh, But, you know, it's hard sometimes to separate the mindset from the physical skill. Uh, The best defensive player I've ever gotten a chance to be around as a coach, a kid named Briante Weber at VCU, he led the NCAA in steals three consecutive years. And it was about half mindset and half having the quickest hands around. So for us, we definitely try to recruit that. But the tricky thing, Jim, is guys that have the offensive qualities that maybe you look for aren't necessarily going to have the exact same defensive qualities that you look for. Otherwise, Duke and North Carolina and Kentucky will want them as well. 
Ah, Shaka Smart joining us. So we're talking March Madness, then we're talking about guard play, right? And we're talking about floor generals. You've got a really good one in Tyler Kolek, who's making a strong case to be the Big East Player of the Year. What does he bring to the program, both on and off the floor? He brings an unbelievable drive and competitiveness and work ethic. He's the one that, when we were picked ninth, went to Big East Media Day in the Garden and you know had a two-word response. The first word I can't say, and the second word is EM. And I love it. You know, it's just a mentality of we don't really care what anyone says. We don't care what they think. Uh, He was under-recruited coming out of high school. He was a guy that was overlooked. You know, if you look at a picture of him, he just – he looks a little bit like a choir boy, but he's one of those basketball players that will cut your heart out for a basket or a stop. And that's why I'm so grateful to have him on our team. Shaka Smart joining us. You mentioned the Garden. So you've got your regular season finale against St. John's Saturday. Then it's on to New York for the Big East Tournament. I mean, what an unbelievable venue. What a great, great conference tournament. What's the vibe like inside the Garden? And how does the intensity ratchet up for those games? It's incredible. I mean, Jim, I'm a guy who played Division Three basketball in front of a couple hundred people. So to get a chance to coach in the world's most famous arena, to get a chance to coach in a Big East tournament, it's unbelievable. And, you know, for us, you know, as a team from the Midwest, you know, there's a lot of teams that have been in the Big East for a lot longer than Marquette. You know, we've never won the Big East tournament. It's never happened for Marquette. So, you know, that's a goal. Uh, Obviously, we have one regular season game to finish, and it's an important one. It's our senior day. Uh, We want to send these guys out in the right way. Uh, We're certainly excited about getting on that plane as well when we do head to the Garden. Marquette head coach Shaka Smart joining us with so many opportunities in front of you. Shaka, what about the tournament itself? You know the age-old question. Does that weekend get you ready and get you tournament tough for the big dance? Or frankly, does it kind of grind you down, beat you down, and wear you out? How do you feel about the tournament? Conference. I think it de- it depends on the psychological disposition of your team and of your individual players. I think definitely what you're saying can happen where, you know, you feel like, man, this almost worked against us because either we played a bunch of games and guys think they're tired or we won. You know, I've coached a couple teams that won the conference tournament and I didn't do a good enough job getting them to get over the euphoria of winning and cutting down the nets to get them ready for that first NCAA tournament game. So it can work all different ways, but, you know, as our mental skills coach likes to say, whatever happens is what's supposed to happen for your growth and your development and your readiness for the next opportunity. It's just about us framing it the right way and learning from it. Shock, I don't know if you're at liberty to share who that is. I love Love the notion of a mental skills coach. Absolutely love it. I cannot get enough of it. Can you share who that is? And if not, I respect that. But what does that well, coach talk to your players about? No, we we hired a guy named Russ Rausch, R A U S C H, and he's based out of Chicago. But he works with teams and players all around the country. Uh, he and his partner John McGraw have a company called Vision Pursue. It's a terrific app. You would actually really, really like it. There's an app that you can have on your phone and it's got all this really useful stuff, meditations, um, visualization exercises, stuff to help you with your mental skills. So anyway, Russ came into our program last summer and he's been working with our guys for the past several months about, you know, just handling what comes up, not necessarily trying to push away things that you don't want, but being able to embrace those emotions, embrace those thoughts, and then being able to separate from them and choose to do what's next. It's been unbelievably powerful for our players. Our guys love having them around, and it's been helpful for me as a coach too. Well, I'll be looking for that right away. You're right. I love that. I love that stuff. I can't get enough of that stuff. I think even for young athletes, for anybody, for you, for me, for athletes, my kids, I absolutely love it. I can't get enough. Before you go, Shaka, let me ask you about Cam Jones. Sophomore has absolutely made the most, it seems to me, of the opportunity that he's gotten this year moving into the starting lineup. He's your leading scorer at 15 points per game. How pleased are you with the way he's embraced the opportunity and the moment? 
Well, the exciting thing about Cam Jones is he's got even so much more inside of him. Uh, Jim, I've never been around a player that is so free spirited and confident. If you watch us right before the ref throws up the opening tip, he's out there dancing around and he's kind of in his own world. And sometimes I'm like, hey, man, you got to lock in and focus. But he has a confidence and a poise about him that is really exciting. I mean, as well as he's played this year, he's got another notch or two inside of him. And the fact that you brought up Tyler Kolick and Cam Jones, that goes a long way towards us winning the league. Because let's be honest, if you have a good backcourt and those guys are out there playing well and helping other guys on their team play well, then you're going to have a good team. That's it. I was going to ask you, that's why I brought those two guys up. So really quickly as a follow, before I let you go, if Cam's that guy, if he's that free spirit and he's that loose, is it infectious? Is it contagious? And are other guys looser because of it? Absolutely. And, you know, for me, Jim, I'm kind of that old school, you know, if I was playing, I would kind of have headphones on. I'd be staring at the wall. I wouldn't be saying a thing. And so I've had to change over the years and understand, hey, you're not coaching yourself, man. You're coaching different guys. And he's a guy, he's in the locker room singing 10 minutes before the game. He's dancing around. But that's his way to stay loose and to kind of stay away from maybe some of the anxieties that can creep in, some of the doubts that can creep in, so that he can go out there and be his most confident self. And it absolutely is contagious with his teammates. It really helps those guys. And they have a way about them that they start the game with, largely because of the way he and some of our other guys are. That's what it seemed to me. Like when you said, hey, man, maybe you got to lock in. He is, right? That's the way he locks in. That's his deal. That's his process. Shaka Smart's the head coach at Marquette. They're having a great, great year and still so many opportunities and challenges in front of them. Shaka, like you said, it's been a minute, but it feels like it was yesterday. Great to have you back. Thank you so much. And always good to have you on the show. You always make it better. 